Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Beam NG Drive with a challenge, with a race. We are back at the Flood Escape Crater, but not using it for flood related shenanigans at all. No, we are going soapbox racing. The engines have been removed from all of these cars, or possibly not, ladders might not have synced properly, but uh, <laughs> the engines have all been taken out, there we go. Uh, there's no engines in these vehicles, and the aim is simple. We are going to be racing from this start point up here, down towards the petrol station that is somewhere over there in the distance. But of course, we've got no engine power, so this is all going to be the power of gravity. It's all going to be about keeping your speed up, your momentum through the corners. However, it's not flat out down here you will have to break it there are some narrow sections there are some skiddy sections you can get all out of shape we don't really know what cars are going to be the ones to beat um essentially we're doing it tournament style for this one so it's going to be four player rounds uh that will be the top two into the next round uh there'll be a spanner final for the cars eliminated and it will be interesting to see how it goes yeah lado's car is not quite synced uh, <laughs> or either that or lado's kept the engine in for what i don't know i don't know it's just buzzing the limit i think there might be some syncing issues but never mind it's close off off of the start line as you would expect we are continuing to go four wide the sbr4 is well momentarily to the front the sunburst has got a good run the speed beast is going to have to tap the brakes to not end up in the tree it's the worst thing in the world to have to tap the brakes so there are downhill is th this route is of course overall downhill but uh it, the course does sometimes go back uphill a little bit uh the 800 series pretty good car in general oh you don't want to hit the rocks so it's oh, as i said top two go through uh you you know ladder has got a good lead because speed beast got boxed out at the start Amy and uh, Ollie had issues with the uh, rocks through there, and the 800 series is going to sneak past a little bit here, and it will move up into second place. Lado is leading the way, uh, heading into the dirt section. Lado's had a big moment. Huge twitch onto the slippy stuff, but Lado's got away with it, lost a heap of time. Speed Beast is right there with the 800 series. Lado's in trouble. That's a tree. That's all sorts of trouble for the SBR4. This corner is quick. As oh, Amy has sent it too hard and spun and Lado spun and Ollie snuck past. Ollie's had a crash as well. Ollie's in the trees. Ollie's over. Ollie's out of it. No momentum for that. I actually think we might have no cars come second because Amy might get stuck. Can that still... That's got the momentum to get going. Lado's out. Lado's out, run out of momentum, stuck. Ollie flipped and is out. Amy has got over that hill and is continuing to make speed just about. Oh, in typical fail race fashion. It's all gone terribly wrong, right from the off. And Speed Beast, who had a pretty bad start, got kind of boxed out a little bit early on, didn't make a mistake down the course and will get to the petrol station. The 800 series is going to coast its way into the petrol station. The second signpost is the finish line. Speed Beast is through, and Amy's bolide is still going. The bolide will make it, and will come across the line now. That's quite lucky. That could have gone a lot worse uh, for the bolide. It didn't have much momentum, but it made it... Yeah, Ollie just carried too much speed trying to make make passes work and has had a flip. That was a big crash, actually, for the Sunburst. That hit pretty hard. And yeah, Lado, it went wrong. This section here is really dangerous. It's slippery, and yeah, you can really get in trouble uh, up here. And yeah, once Lado just got out of shape, I just couldn't gather it back up again. And that was the, the beginning of the end. Good first round. <laughs> Plenty of silliness. There will be, uh, yeah... Who knows what the next ones will bring. There will be more chaos, I have no doubt. We head on to our second heat. Uh, we have got in Pega with a Grand Marshal, Joe with Wendover with the bonnet open for reasons. We have Shadow with a K-Series and an indicator going on. Sure. And Brazen has a Cherrier. Uh, there's it still might be a little bit of D. I don't know whose cars we've got. Uh, by the looks of it, it will be Shadow... I 
but who knows uh i've somehow got 400 horsepower on power to weight thing i don't know who that's for what that's from seems like it's all good we're gonna get these lot underway we're gonna see if we can have more than two cars potentially finish uh i don't know what happens if they all crash i guess whoever gets furthest down uh shadow a little slow away and pega with a good start actually in the grand march it's the least dramatic start we've ever seen uh, Shadow might have a bit of decent because that thing's all got the wheels locked up, which is very peculiar. This is the most simple form of racing we've ever come across. It shouldn't be having issues with the game, but apparently so. Uh, and Pega leads the way. Brazil is having a look, trying to make a move for their second place. I, I feel like the bonnet up is not the best idea for Joe, but he's <laughs> going for front downforce, I believe, was the was the call. <laughs> so, oh, Shadow's picking up some speed over there, but you don't want to go around the outside because of the rocks. You, it's a single file line. You get you get one, one line through there, anything more than that, and you are going to be in trouble. So, will Brazen go for for a pass on Impega. Will anybody be happy to just sit in second and wait? It's possible someone might go for it. I don't know whether anyone's going to act like that. Joe is still holding up Shadow a little bit back there as we head into the construction site. I and mean, this is the first bit where it gets properly twisty and nasty. Brazen's car is thrown about. Impega's gets a big bump. They both avoid any trouble, though, through here. Mind the pothole. It is nicely done for both of them. Brazen's car is still wiggling. Now, you have got to slow down through here. You cannot be flat through that corner. Oh, oh, oh Brazen holds it just... Brazen very close to impaling on a tree. Shadow has got past Joe. The K-Series is pretty rapid uh, when it can get going here. Now, if anyone slows down too much, uh, you know, and loses too much momentum, oh, Shadow's just made the corner. Impega's lost a little bit of time here. Brazen is going to maybe have a look. Although, will, as I said, will Brazen be that fussed about going for the lead? I'm going to say a yes through there. It's an alternate, a very brave line. Oh, Impega's off! Impega's out of the lead! Impega's off the mountain! The Grand Marshal has gone. I don't know where it's gone. There it is. It's in the ditch. Pushed it just a little bit too hard, and it's going to be... Uh, oh, Joe's fallen off as well, I think, somewhere. Oh, Joe's had a crash. But it's going to be Brazen that will take victory. Chased Impega down the mountain. And, uh, yeah, in the end, pushed Impega into a mistake. Shadow is across... Well, technically not quite across the line, but the other two have crashed. Shadow takes second place and progresses. Impega, unlucky, just could not get the car slowed down for the quarter, and Impega is in the ravine. And Joe wrapped the car around a tree. Uh, that's an unusual place to have an accident. May, might have bounced somewhere. It doesn't even look that heavily damaged. It's just parked. <laughs> Things have gone wrong for, for Joe on that one. So, yeah, we have Shadow and Brazen through to the next round. We head into the final of our heat uh, because we've only got 11 players for this uh, it's a three car heat so yeah top two will go through longbow has the kind of baja piccolina mad contraption rusky has a 200 bx i have a bastion that's huge compared to the two around me uh we're gonna see how it goes on this one uh I think I have a pretty good chance with the Bastion here. Uh, one of the things I have going for me is uh, my suspension is pretty good across the bumps, which is needed down this course. It gets quite bumpy, and we know this car was very good escaping the flood, but... Uh, yeah, we know we're good across the bumps, which is likely to help. Our acceleration might not be great. I think our top speed is quite good in this one. We've got clear of the Piccolina. Uh, ultimately, it's a slightly easier heat for being three of us. You know, only one car is going to get dumped into the Spanner final here. Uh, so all we have to do is not do anything stupid like go across the rocks, which I don't. I really don't want to go on the brakes, but I've got to slow down because I've got to pull in. I mean, Longbow, you can send it there, but I was having to... <laughs> Like, I was having to go behind the 200BX at that point, and yeah, I'm th in a fight, the quite heavy, the Bastion without an engine is 1,700 kilos. It is not a, not a light vehicle, this. Uh, we've got good momentum here. Are we going to be able to find a way past the 200BX? And the question is, do we go, I mean, we've kind of got to go for it, because I don't want to get overtaken by the Piccolina. Uh, oh, see, we're better across the bumps here. Oh, no. Never mind. I just ran a bit wide. I clipped a tree. Oh, I'm pissed off with myself there. Very annoyed with myself. Why has that stopped? 
Why is that not rolling? I feel like that should roll. Oh, that never mind. No, nope, it's not gonna roll. It's not gonna roll. No, <laughs> I feel like it should have rolled, but no, that wheel is back on. Oh, I'm very annoyed with myself there. Very annoyed with myself because Longbow's crashed as well. <sighs> I didn't even think I was pushing it. I didn't think that was an, a, an unreasonable ask. I just ran a little bit wide on the on the hill, and that's all it takes. Yeah. Trust me, I'm more annoyed at myself than you are watching this. Uh, <laughs> that's such a stupid error. Oh, we had a really strong car. We had a really strong car. Rusky seems to have lost a lot of momentum. That thing's going quite slowly. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what happened. Can we get any... No, can I get... Can I... I mean, if I could roll it... We have got... Nah. I tell you what, even if that crash had been any other way... We could have maybe even rolled it to where Longbow is. So, yeah, we tried shuffling it with the steering, but Rusky is going to make it across the line. The 200BX is through. The Piccolina is, is through. Crashed, but is through. Um, I think Longbow might have righted it uh, from there. But, yeah, crashed is through. Dumb, dumb error for us. We are into the Spanner final. There's still a chance. It's not all over yet for the Bastion, but... A silly, a silly error by me. Just a smidge running wide is all it took. And yeah, that's a devastating... See, that's really not... That's actually not that broken. It was just the collapse. Just the way the, the uh, suspension arm was bent in uh, was enough. Because yeah, if that hadn't folded under, we would have we would have been able to carry on. But we couldn't. So there we go. We are in to the spanner final and that's going to be busy. That's for sure. We head into the Spanner Final. We have got my Bastion in Pega's Grand Marshal, Lado's SBR4, Ollie Sunburst, and Joe's Wendover. The top two will make it through to the next round. A lot of these cars were quite fast and had crashes, so I think this is going to be quite a competitive round here. Um, so yeah, don't know quite what we're going to see in all of this. Uh, I'm hoping... I feel like the Bastion is good. I feel like I let the car down massively. I feel like we have a good shout here if we don't have any accidents. And Pega's car is a little bit better off the line for whatever reason. Sunburst has got going nicely as well. There's some beeping and some blooping, and we are now underway fully. I'm, so top two from this will go through. I am happy to sit behind the Grand Marshal as we come to the narrow rocks. Uh, and you don't want to be too wide heading towards the rocks. That is the worst possible place to be. Lado is picking up speed, but I am on the line that I want here. I, I'm on the line that I want down this part. If Lado wants to go across the rocks, Lado can go across the rocks, although I think it might be clear of us. Yeah, Lado has got clear of us through there. The SBR4, maybe a little bit, little bit lower drag on that car, uh, has got clear of us through there. We are pulling away a little bit from Ollie. Will we see any mistakes from the car? Grand Marshal's got some pace down here. Not going to lie. We have, don't think we've really done much wrong here, but we cannot match those two. Uh, up ahead. So we're hoping they make little errors. We might have to be braver through some parts. We've already seen what's happened when I try to be brave. Oh, there is some bouncing around, some airborne cars. This bit's very slippy uh, for the vehicles. We should have suspension to go straight across that pothole. We do. This corner, you cannot be flat through. Uh, we are going to send it because I'm trying to make up time. No, we've been it. I wasn't catching anyway. <laughs> it's one of those, like, i got to go for it because I'm not going to catch them anyway, so I've got to be braver. Maybe I should have been a little bit more careful in case they made a mistake, but I don't think we were going to be close enough. So it was just kind of a go for it and see what would happen. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the Bastion... I swear the Bastion was, being, was good in, in testing, but it's just not quite worked. Lado's had a little bit of a scruffy end, um... Yeah, I thought we could get away, but we just couldn't. It was too it was too big of a jump at the end of the day for that one. Uh, I, I'd, I'd, in some ways, I'd kind of rather send it and try. Joe's fallen off as well, further back. Because, um, yeah, ultimately, I don't think it would have mattered. Impego will take victory. The Grand Marshal is through. Lado crosses the line in second and uh, will progress. Ollie is out. We are out. And Joe is out. So, Spanner final is done. We move on to the semi-finals. 
we move on to the first of our semi-finals, and we have got Rusky with a 200 BX, Impego with a Grand Marshal, Shadow with a K series, and Speed Beast with the 800 series. Don't know what we're going to see from this one. A whole load of things can go on between the start of the race and the uh, and the end. Uh, some things bad, some things not so bad. The fridge has fallen over. Shadow with a slow start. Didn't the, don't think it quite wanted to release the handbrake properly in that one. The Grand Marshal does get off the line quite well, although more evenly matched by the 800 series and that uh, 200 BX. You do not want to go three wide down here, particularly. At some point, it's going to have to now. It's going to have to yeah sort themselves up. It's going to narrow off. Uh, it looks like 200 BX can't quite live with the pace of the top two again. The first and second place car. They will go through to the grand final. Uh, they are all in a line. Yeah, quite nicely. The K-Series is catching up. K-Series kind of does come stronger further down the course. Through the rocks we go as Shadow is looking for a way past. A little bit of a gap for the cars. The front back sweepies has pulled away in this one. That has... Uh, made a decent amount of speed actually that's picked up some serious speed it doesn't really look like there's a huge amount of oh, battle for the front i was expecting shadow not to be passed yet but uh never mind shadow has overtaken rusky can the real question is can the k series catch the grand marshal down here i do not know uh oh Pega has sent it. Shadow's hit a tree. Shadow is out. And Rusky is going to hit the back of Shadow. And that is both of them gone and done for. Barring an absolute miracle up ahead. Uh, in Pega's car looks a little bit wobbly through there. Uh, it may have done a bit of suspension down. That looks very... Oh, and Pega might have problems as well. Now, the damage doesn't sink perfectly. Speed Beast has got this, barring a big error. Damage does not sink perfectly on vehicles... I think Impeg is in a lot of trouble here. Rusky lost a lot of speed hitting Shadow, but is gaining and gaining and gaining, but pushed it too hard. Oh no, Rusky was in a great place. Shadow's car got wrapped around a tree. Is definitely not in good working order, but is in better working order than Impegas. Impegas, we didn't see, I was busy watching the Shadows crash, we didn't actually see what Impega hit. Shadow is going to go around the outside of Impega, and it looks like the K-Series might, if it doesn't make a mistake between now and the finish line, though, that is the critical bit. Speed Beast is done. Speed Beast is across the line and through a very straightforward race for them. Impega is very slowly. Grand Marshal has lost a lot of momentum, there was some damage on that. Unbelievably despite a big hit on a tree. You know, we know the damage isn't going to be perfectly synced. I don't think the car, the wheel is quite, perhaps that bent on the rear of Shadow's car. However, amazingly, the K-Series that had such a big crash is through. The K-Series looks quick when it gets going. Uh, it does look quick when it gets going. I think Impeg is actually ground to a halt. So yeah, something was wrong with the Grand Marshal. I mean... <laughs> It looks in good condition. One of the wheels was flapping. There we go. That's the damage. So maybe Impega just brushed a tree and broke it slightly. But the Grand Marshal is out. Unfortunate for Impega. I mean, Rusky was in a great place, but overdrove a corner and fell off of the map. Oh, game's frozen a little bit. Oh, that's just loading in. So there we go. We have our first two finalists. Speed Beast with a relatively straightforward run and Shadow with anything but. We are on to the second semi-final. We have Amy with the bowline, Lado's SBR4, Longbow's... Well, I mean, we call it a Piccolina, but it's, it's not much of a Piccolina, really. And Brazen has the Cherrier. Oh, no idea what way this is going to go. <laughs> I don't know. No idea what we're going to see. But it should be quite good fun. Should be interesting. We've seen some big shunts down here as cars are trying to make up time uh, we will get everyone underway we are off the sbr4 has had a problem the sbr4 just does not want to go it's there we go it's a bit of a wiggle of the steering and lado has got go sometimes there's something the sbr4 in particular can sometimes just be stubborn a uh, sticky handbrake or something i mean it's not impossible we've seen so many crashes down here that honestly it's not it's not completely impossible that you just drive it clean you might make it work uh down here but Amy is leading the way. Brazen's Chariot is in second. The Piccolinas, I mean, they've all got 
they're all close. If anything, they're all catching the leader. This could get very dicey at some point. Longbow might have the best suspension for hitting the rocks and jumping over the potholes, depending on how things go. We're all on the same tyres, I should point out. I don't remember if I did at the start. I don't think I did. But we're all on sport tyres of some sort. So yeah, we've all got about the same kind of grip. Longbow's being brave through there. Makes it stick. He's up onto two wheels, though. The Picolina is quick, but very dicey through some of this. Brazen's in trouble. Big tank slapper. Well held. Oh, big crash at the front. Amy's off. Longbow's in the trees. Brazen is through. Lado has just got to not bid it at this point and has made it through. There was contact between the Picolina and the... Oh, Lado's in trouble, but has gathered it up again. And Brazen's also played it super risky. Lado, you do not need to send it that hard. <laughs> Darlo. Lado's going to spin. And I think that's going to actually bring Lado to a halt. And that will stop the SBR4. It won't matter. Uh, it is rolling, but it's got to go uphill. Yeah, it won't matter because it will be ahead of the other two that came to a halt. It's been really scruffy. <laughs> Oh, it has been really strong. I think some cars moving around on the bumps and uh, with the Piccolina trying to make a pass while the cars are moving around, it was just not to be. Brazen has pushed it quite a lot through there. Uh, there were some sketchy moments. There were some very... I mean, unless Longbow's vehicle has somehow got free of the tree and is rolling and can pass Lado, which I doubt it is doing, then it looks like it's going to be Brazen and Lado in to the final as we round i mean so of the finalists only speed beast and brazen have made it to the end without crashing big crashes in their semi-final lado has come to a complete standstill but made it further than longbow can longbow's no longbow's not getting out of there that's well impaled on a tree it was a big shunt for uh for for that one and yeah amy ended up somewhere oh god down there <laughs> oh that's a big crash it's the bolide in one piece surprisingly yes it does look i mean it's sh it's shedded oh no 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 that's just a door it's shedded oh is it a door or is it uh a bumper it's shredded bodywork there's pink bodywork down the down the hill but uh yeah that's a big shunt well there we go brazen alado are through to the final we head into the final lado with the sbr4 shadow with the k series it's very lucky to have got here after a big crash although to be fair so did lado speed beast and brazen both made it to the finish line of their semi-finals so i'm gonna say they are probably the two to watch the chariot and the 800 series but who knows honestly they could well take each other out <laughs> anybody's guess the racing has been surprisingly chaotic actually who is surprised by that it's fair race at the end of the day things rarely go to script hopefully ladders sbr4 is going to get off the line this time as we go it does good start actually good start for the sbr4 bit of a bad start for the k series but that has been a theme with it it hasn't got going very well but it does pick up speed really well later on in the run and it looks like the sbr4 is going to take the lead of the race possibly the 800 series is quick if, if Speed Beast doesn't make a mistake, the 800 series is fast, but it might have more competition than it's been used to so far. We know Brazen's Chariot is not bad uh, once it gets... It just, I don't think the Chariot is the fastest off the line, but it does pick up speed quite nicely. The 800 series with a good amount of pace on the outside. Where is that K-series? It's a little bit further back. It's still close, though. I mean, we want the four best cars in the final, and uh, they are all close together. At the moment, is anybody... Because someone's going to get brave, right? Someone's going to have to get brave because no one's going to want to just sit in fourth and, you know, conserve the whole way. So someone will try and push it. They will be slower into a corner. They will try and cut it a little bit more, trying to make up that bit of time down here. Oh, Lado, big amount of air time. The SBR4 does not like the bumps. It struggled through there. The Chariot has done better. Oh, the pothole is not good on the SBR4. I think Brazen, the problem Brazen's going to have is going to get stuck in traffic. Lado jumps it, uh, gets away with it. The Chariot is on the pothole. Chariot is gone. Chariot is spun. The K-Series has lost some time. An error somewhere from Shadow has put them in trouble. Oh, Speed Beast has really overshot that corner. Not as much as Lado. And it's off. Uh, oh, Brazen's had 
an accident as well down there. So yeah, Sweeney's actually really overdrove that corner. Lado went with a lot of speed into there, but just couldn't stop it at the end of all of that. I mean, it looks like it's going to be ETKs at the front unless anything terrible happens down here. Speed Beast has only got a couple of corners to navigate with the 800 series. It bounced a little bit over the pothole, but that is about as bad as it will get as we head into the petrol station. I see a nameplate of a brazen falling off. Speed Beast will cross the line, and Speed Beast will take a victory. Shadow is going to come home in second place. The K-Series claiming second Brazen has fallen off the mountain. We'll end up third with the Cheria uh, Lado. I mean, there was a chance. There was a small chance for uh, the SBR4, and it was going to be carry a lot of speed through this corner because Speed Beast has made a mistake. So Lado kind of sent it. Uh, I would probably do the same, to be honest. It, you know, you try to make up time, and that's your best chance, but it's just a little bit too much uh, speed at the end of the day for that. It's tough to get it right. This is a really big challenge trying to do the soapbox racing down here. Um, the road is tricky. It's it's bouncy. It is. Uh, there's a bit of dirt. There's a lot of a lot of things you want to be careful. There's a, the slippery water and all of that. Uh, yeah, real challenge down here. Uh, good fun. Good fun challenge indeed. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the, the crater map works very well for the old soapbox racing. But uh, there we go. I have no idea where the 800 series has gone. It's off. But Speedbees will take victory. Shadow is second. Brazen rounds out the podium. My Bastiard was not very good. Uh, didn't do the, didn't have the best driving from me. Didn't help. Silly errors in places. But uh, I think it would have struggled. Even if I'd made it to the final, I think I would have struggled against those cars. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this uh, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I shall, of course, put a link to the mods used in the description if you want to have a go with them yourself. That, though, shall be it from me. Until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.